in BGP to apply a policy, we have to clear the session between peers. Clear BGP session has a vastly negative impact on the production network. With soft reconfiguration, we can change and activate BGP policies without clearing the BGP session. When we enable soft reconfiguration, update messages from other BGP speakers will store in a new table. These updates are unedited routes received from our peers. Next, our inbound policy is applied, and routes that pass through the policy and have a valid resolvable next hop are put into the BGP table. Because of creating another table for each neighbor instead of one BGP table, the router will have some overhead and require more memory. In this topology, we simply connect four routers to a switch and we will make full mesh BGP neighborship between the routers. Now let's do the configuration and make them neighbor. In this step, we just assign BGP router ID and then make the neighborship. Now we will check output of show BGP summary command. The soft reconfiguration inbound command tells R2 to save the routing information from R1, unmodified in the new table. It will then apply the inbound BGP policy and store the information in the BGP table. In the first step, I will advertise two loopback interfaces into BGP. Then I will change local preference to 300 using root map. In the last step, I will try to clear the BGP session using soft reconfiguration feature. As you can see, 
the policy has changed without a hard clearing BGP session between R1 and R2. We should also notice that there is no way to find out what BGP routes were rejected by the router that it received from its neighbors in Cisco IOS. So because soft reconfiguration makes another table, it can be helpful in this case. So, how can we find what routes are rejected? The answer is easy. Just compare the output of these two commands. To overcome the challenges of soft reconfiguration inbound, the GP root refresh capability was introduced. With using the root refresh capability, the router sends out a root refresh request to a peer to get the full table from the peer again. The advantage of root refresh capability is that no pre-configuration is needed to enable it. Let's see the root refresh capability of our neighbor. As long as the root refresh capability is supported, we are able to use the feature. Now we will see how to root refresh capability can be used. We will advertise two loopback interfaces from R3. Then we will change their local preferences on R4. To apply the policy, we will use root refresh capability instead of the reset BGP session. Clear BGP command in soft reconfiguration and root refresh is very similar, just we should notice the soft keyword. That was a lesson about soft reconfiguration and root refresh in the BGP world. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for viewing. For more cool topics, please visit www.networkingwithessen.com.